Hi, in this video I want to demonstrate a little bit about two-hand tapping, which is made very popular, especially by Eddie Van Halen in the song Eruption. So uh, the notes that I'll be demonstrating with uh, are the first and fourth finger on the first string from pattern three in the fifth position, and then uh, using a note from pattern four, uh, the pattern four scale if the scale started in the eighth position so uh, but actually it's the tenth fret so uh, what the left hand does is uh, it's going to be hammering in this case with the pinky and then doing a pull off so the pinky hammers on and then it pulls off when I'm doing a pull off I kind of keep my my finger curled up and I pull the string towards the floor, and I'm going to make it like I'm plucking it. So, with the left hand, we hammer on, pull off. With the right hand, there are a couple of, pro of approaches to this. One is to use the middle finger. Some people like the middle finger because it makes it a little easier to... Uh, hold the pick normally and then you can have an easier transition between your tapping stuff and then your picked stuff. Uh, so if you're doing it that way, you can hold your pick normally and then tap, uh, in this case, uh, on the 10th fret with the middle finger. And then this one also pulls off. So you'll notice that the finger is coming in um, kind of horizontally. Tap on the tenth fret, and you you don't want to tap on the fret wire because that'll deaden the note. You want to tap in between the fret wire, and then pull off. And when you're hammering on or tapping, it's not all about having a lot of distance to get the tap. Um, with the left hand, I find it helpful to have the finger curved and move it quickly not necessarily from far away. So it's not this. You'll notice there when I tried to come from so far away I was sloppy about where my finger landed. You can be more precise if you keep your finger curled and move quickly and forcefully you'll still get a good sound. Okay and so with the right hand same thing um, One way that I like to do it is if I'm using my middle finger, I'll kind of move from this joint right here. So I'll bring the finger up and then down. Kind of like I'm drilling into the fretboard and then pull off to the side. So those are some tips uh, for the left and right hand. Another way you can do the, the right hand is grip the neck of the guitar between your thumb your second and third finger. Then your, your first finger will hammer on to the string, but it will do so more uh, horizontal, uh, more vertically rather than horizontally. So it's not coming in sideways, it's coming in more from the top. And then it makes sort of a circular motion down towards the floor and then circles back up so it can tap again. So you would tap and then do your pull off towards the floor. And when you're doing it that way, it seems like some guys will hold the pick kind of in the center of their palm. And then pull it back out when they need it. Um, another way you could do it is hold the pick between your thumb and first finger like that. Another important facet is you want to be muting the strings you're not using with the, the skin from the palm of your hand. so And that goes for whether you're using your middle finger coming in sideways. Notice how my palm is touching the strings. Or if you're going more uh, with your first finger and going horizontally, then it's going to be more this part of your hand that's doing the muting. So, muting and left and right hand technique for tapping.